Death of a Salesman was written in 1949, just after the war. And Miller, like many writers at that time, was kind of grappling with a new order. The world had changed as a result of the Second World War. Suddenly everybody wanted to know about all this new stuff, what they could do, how they could afford it, how they could buy it. And it was being sold to them as part of the dream of being of American. And Willie Lowman represents his attempt to come to terms with that because he's gonna be he's gonna be decapitated because he's an old guy. He believes in this dream that he has. And it's profoundly sad and moving at the same time. So it's disturbing in a really profound way. And that's the brilliance of a writer like Miller is that he can tap into a very deep level in the psyche and disturb us. I think that what Miller was writing about at the end of the 40s is just as relevant now for the information technology sector in terms of the questions that it raises about family life, about being a father, about the role of the mother, about the children, about what do you leave behind, you know. So these are big questions and they're questions that Miller raises at the heart of Death of Sins. I was talking to the cast yesterday at the end of the dress rehearsal that we did. There isn't a weak character written in Death of Sins. We have even the smallest characters in the piece. A writer who can ca capture a character very quickly and very sharply is usually the sign of a great writer, and Miller is certainly.